There's all kinds of reasons why a beekeeper might need to move colonies. They might want to move them to better forage. They might want to move them to a crop that needs to be pollinated. Um, they might be having difficulties with that apiary, which could be something like you know a bear in the area or a neighbor who's disgruntled. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons why a beekeeper might wish to move their colonies. And there's definitely considerations that beekeepers need to think about when they're moving colonies. It's best to move the colonies when the bees aren't flying. Obviously, you want to take all of the bees when you move the colony. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of confused bees back where the colony used to be. So it's best to move the bees either at night or on a rainy day or a very cold day so that all the bees are in the colony. When you're moving colonies, uh, there's a few considerations for the beekeeper to think about. Uh, you want to secure the colonies, all the pieces of the colony together. So ratchet straps are a really good way to do that. You can just wrap it around the whole colony and tighten it so you don't have uh, boxes shifting or lids flying off. You also want to close the entrance in some way, but you want also the bees to be able to ventilate. So if you're going to close the entrance, then a screened bottom board is important, or you can use um, something like hardware cloth to close the entrance so the bees can still uh, um, ventilate, but they can't um, fly out of the colony. You also really want to secure the load really well to your truck and not transport the bees inside an enclosed vehicle. Honeybee colonies are big and heavy and awkward loads to move, so it's best if you can plan moving colonies when there aren't any honey supers on the colony, and definitely you're gonna need two people to move a honeybee colony unless it's just a small nuke or something. If you are moving bees, it's important to plan your route ahead of time. Make sure you know you fuel up so you don't have to stop for gas, hopefully, um, and, and know your route. You might wanna plan to avoid sort of the most busiest intersections or you know downtown rush hour if you're an urban beekeeper um, if you're if you're on a longer trip where you're moving bees you know for many hours you probably would like to do that at night so that it's not too hot for the bees just consider your route and plan ahead